The last few years at work, we've been using this service called MailHog, which is a local Docker container that runs and acts as our local SMTP server so that when our ColdFusion application sends out mail or email, we're not sending that to real users, we're catching that locally in our MailHog server. And I recently added this to my local development environment for my blog, and it was so easy to set up that I thought I would just share it because it's it's just it's a really elegant experience. So on my left, I have a frame set here, and on my left, I have a simple Cold Fusion template for sending mail, and on my right here, I have my my MailHog server. So let's go ahead and send an email. Let's say. So now when I send this. It's going to immediately show up on the right here in our MailHog server, and we can go into it. And I'm just sending a plain text email, but you can see if we look at the source, we can get a, access to all the headers and the content. And it's just super, super easy. I can delete individual messages, or I can just delete all my messages. And it's just made local development for email-based workflows a complete breeze. So let's take a look at how this is set up. If we jump into our Docker Compose file, I have two services running. I have my Adobe Cold Fusion service, which is using the official Adobe Cold Fusion image. And you'll see that I'm installing the mail module. And it depends on MailHog. And MailHog is the other service that I have running in my local Docker network here. And setting this up is literally this easy. I'm pulling in the MailHog image and I'm exposing the port 8025. And that is the port that the that this UI, this user interface is accessible at. MailHog also exposes port 1025, but I don't actually need to expose that on my host machine because the CFML service and the MailHog service can seamlessly connect uh, without this being exposed on the host. So again, all I need is 825. And it's literally that easy to do. Internally to our cold fusion code, we're gonna be able to access the MailHog server using the server name MailHog, which is the same as the service here in our uh, Docker Compose. And we're gonna configure that in our application CFC. So if we jump over into application CFC, super simple, I'm using the native SMTP server settings in our application CFC, setting the server equal to MailHog, and this is the SMTP port that it exposes. And that's in the entirety of the integration. It's this three line block in our Docker Compose, and it's this uh, one line of code here for our SMTP server settings. Now, in order to send mail, all I have to do is use the native CF mail tag or the mail component. And this is the, uh, this is the UI that we see here in our frame set. That's this, the to subject and message. When our form gets submitted, you'll see I'm instantiating the mail component, setting the from to subject body. I'm setting spool enable to false, and that allows these email messages to show up immediately instead of being sent on a background thread. And then I'm just sending and refreshing the page. And that's all there is to it. It's super, super simple. And again, it just makes development extremely easy. Let's do it one more time. So let's see. All right, I'm going to hit send, and immediately it shows up. And again, we can see it. Super easy, super simple. MailHog has just made managing emails locally in a development environment just effortless. So hopefully, if you haven't seen this before, you get excited. And uh, happy Friday and have a great weekend, everyone.